in many many cases you'll use the order by to sort your entire result set but then maybe only want to see the top portion of the result and to do that you can use what's called the top clause so here you can see I've selected the first and last name from the person table and what I'd like to do is order by last name and let's say select the top five people to do that I can use the top clause and so I'd say select top five first name and last name from person table. Now this top five will affect the entire result. I'm not just saying select the top five first names. It's select the top five results from the query where I'm selecting first name and last name from the person table where the results are ordered by last name. So when I run this, you'll see that I just get five rows and it's the, it was the top five records from the result. So likewise, if I wanted to look at the, um, I'll call it the bottom five rows, the way I could do that would be to sort the result set in descending order, and then take the top five rows from that result. So if I, if I do that, you'll see where um, I'm going to first get rid of the top, so let's do descending. So here we have um, Zillig and Zimmerman as our um, results. And if I take the top five here and execute, you'll see that I'm getting the essentially the, the top five folks that were at the bottom. So it's really the bottom five. Um, results of the table. It may sound confusing. I'm using top when I'm talking about bottom, but the idea here is I am essentially sorting the result in descending order and then skimming the top off that, which in English would be the bottom of the result set. I can also take get the top 5%. So if I wanted to not just get the top five people, but the top um, percentage, I could uh, type in here top 5%. And this will bring back more than five rows. It's going to bring back 5% um, of the total results set. And when I execute this, you'll see now I'm getting back 999 rows. Uh, this result set was very large. And this is just another way of um, pulling back a, a relative amount of rows. Maybe you are doing an audit and you need to bring back the top 5% or top 10% of rows. So again, um, you can type in any number you'd wish here. So here's top 10% rows. And I think if I go above 100, it'll error. It will, because percentages need to be between zero and one. So if I take, say, top 0%, I get zero rows.